Hello, Frank82. I'm showing Betty and Veronica's first series. Last night I had showed the second series. These are the first series that I have. Uh, as you can see, in the early 1950s, it was called Archie's Girls, Betty and Veronica. From I believe it was 1950 to 1986, and then from 86 up until somewhere in the 2000s, it was just Benny and Veronica. Basically just picked up after it, but basically the same series. Uh, there's just three that I want to show before I... These are the three good ones, actually, that I have. And, oh, I have a price tag on there. This is number 66. Um, it's in a bag and board. Um, it's, I would say it's about maybe a 4.0. Um, as opposed to everything else I have that's just reading copy. So I keep this in a bag and board. Uh, and I, number 66, I don't have the year on there. I think it's probably, I'm going to say 1960, maybe 1961, taking a guess. I think it's early 60s though. Uh, this one is one of those uh, sci-fi covers. They did a lot of those with the Archie series. Uh, and of course, there's the year, January 1962. Um, I don't think they're rare, but um, I don't know. Maybe you don't see them too often. I got this at auction, I think. I won it. Um, it's a pretty cool cover. And I know I've seen a few other ones, like um, Creature from the Black Lagoon, classic universal uh, horror from the 1950s. I know that's on a, I don't know if it's a Jughead issue or Benny and Veronica, but a lot of the Archie titles in the 1960s, they had a sci-fi, and I only have one, and I think that's pretty cool. So that's that one there. And there's a special one that is Benny and Veronica 320. That is the first appearance of... that focus. Cheryl Blossom. Kind of a funny story how I got this. Uh, about 10, 11 years ago, uh, responding to a Craigslist ad, someone was selling a bunch of comics. Uh, he had some Archie and some other unknown titles. And I went down to take a look, and I didn't pay very much. He had like 30 of them. I'd probably pay like 20, maybe somewhere. Ballpark figure of $20. I didn't pay too much. A lot of it I didn't keep. I ended up maybe just selling or trading. And... Lo and behold, there was a Benny and Veronica 320, no bag and board, and I didn't even know anything about it yet. And then when I noticed that little tear, I kind of had some suspicions. I was wondering if there was a reason. I don't know if it was intentionally done or it's a coincidence, but I, had, I used to have the Overstreet price guy. I remember going in there and looking and seeing it was first appearance. If it was in mint condition, it goes for, I don't know, maybe a thousand. So I was really... Fascinated by that, but unfortunately, because of the because of that tear, is a little fingertip piece missing on the cover in the first page. Oh well, still was worth the money and got more than my more my more my money's worth for that. So it's complete. It doesn't look bad at all. The spine looks okay. It's just that nasty spot there. So I'm taking a guess. It's probably a 1.8 to a 2.0. Um, taking a guess. I probably won't ever sell it, though. I think it's kind of cool, because even in rough shape, it still goes for, like, almost $100, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And these are all the reading copies now. This is number 53, and as you can see, there's no cover on that. Like I said, I only keep them for reading copies anyway. You're gonna notice... I think when Dan DiCarlo started out in the early 50s, his style was a little different. Whereas, a little in the 50s, but I think once the 60s came around, which is this, what this is from, you could see how the style, they started to look a little more modernized, I guess. That's 123. 129 and these are all reading copies I don't collect for value I collect because I just enjoy the stories and I enjoy the artwork sorry for the glare again I just can't seem to I'm using my phone so I can't 
do anything about that. Number 162. 169, 173, I got some relaxing music in the background in case you're wondering if there's any whispering or, it's, it's, uh, from Norway, relaxing music, anyway, back to this, it's 177, 178, someone, I had some fun with the cover there, coloring in Archie's face there. It's 181. 188. 189, it looks like water damage. 196. Oh, somebody's name. Maybe that was the original owner, maybe. 205. 207. 209. 210. 212. 217, that one has like a yellow background. I'm not sure if they made any more like that. Kind of interesting. Maybe it was a transition maybe into the 70s. Who knows? Two twenty one. Get this out of the way. Two twenty three. 242. Now, I believe most of the interior was Dan DiCarlo Jr., who was the penciler. He was very similar to his father. Of course, he wasn't as good as his father. There were some similarities. A lot, of, again, from the second series, Frank Doyle, I believe, was a writer. Dan DiCarlo and Dan DiCarlo Jr. I think Jr. mainly did a lot in the 80s, and maybe some in the 70s as well. 248. 249. And also, Dan DiCarlo's son, Ju uh, Dan Jr., and also he had another son. Uh, I don't know the first name now. I have mine's drawing a blank. He was like the anchor. I think it's Jim. I Jim DiCarlo. So Dan and Dan Jr. were pencilers, and Jim was an anchor. Two, uh, 252, 253, that's missing like a piece at the corner there, more than an inch. 255, and it's got some uh, staining up there. 261, sorry about the glare. 266. My arm's getting tired. Sorry if it's getting a little wobbly. My arm's getting tired from it. I'm using my phone to do this. 267. 268. 269. 276. 278. 280. 282. Well, a lot of damage on that one, you could see. Front cover is damaged. Could be some water damage. Could be some, something sticky. Maybe someone had a drink or something on there and got stuck to it. Yeah, these are reading copies. I got a lot of these I did get from mycomicshop.com. I mean, you can pay like a dollar and a half. I mean, it's a good deal. But you could see, see, a lot of them have staining, spine wear and things like that. 287 but it's cheap, so can't complain. 
$2.90. Get these out. My arm's killing me. Two ninety one, two ninety two, two ninety three, two ninety four. Again, soiling, staining at the bottom, coffee stains maybe. Someone must have been drinking or eating something well, while reading these. Back then, no one took care. I don't think they were too concerned about the. Proper care of comic books. Two ninety five. Two ninety eight. Three oh two. More of that staining there. Three oh four. Three oh six. Three seventeen. That's when, I guess at this time, early 80s, Dan DeCarlo started to, see, sign the covers, which is kind of cool. Oh, we've got two left. Now we'll be done. 340. And 342. So that is all the Benny and Veronica's I have. Last night was the second. This was the first series. And that wraps up Benny and Veronica. I do have a lot of other ones that I'll be showing in the next few days, in the next week or so. Uh, nothing too special as far as Archie goes. There's some Everything's Archie. I have a, I have a bunch of Jugheads from the 70s. Um, I have some Betty and Me's Giants from like the 70s. Uh, the new Archie's was... I don't have the whole set. I think there was like 20 or 